but you guys got another video here for you on how to transfer data from your Android phone to your PC. Now we're going to be using Wondershare uh, Dotter Phone and this video has been sponsored by Wondershare Dotter Phone. So thanks again uh, for the sponsorship. And uh, what we're going to do here is take a look at how to install the software and then transfer our data across to our PC. Now this works for all Android devices, whether it be a phone or a tablet or anything like that. It will allow you to uh, transfer your photos, your music, your playlists, uh, your videos, uh, your contacts, anything on your phone you can transfer over to your PC. So we'll be downloading this and installing it. Now it's not a free piece of software, but I'll leave all the information in the video description for you uh, to take a look at, and there will be some discount on there as well. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the system. It's pretty straightforward, just click on the install here. And this will take a bit of time, so be patient and let it go ahead and install on your computer. Now there is one thing that you will have to do with your mobile phone, and that is turn on a debugging mode. So you'll have to go into developer mode to do that, but it gives you an explanation on how to do that. So now we can click on start now, and this will all start up the uh, program for us to uh, run, so we can then uh, transfer our data. So what uh, model of phone uh, can you do? Well, you can do Samsung phones, you can do any type of Android device. It doesn't have to be any particular phone. It could be the Mi Max 2, Xiaomi phones, any type of Android phone that you want to do. Just make sure you've got it plugged in at this stage. And then when you start the program up, it will give you some instructions on how to uh, turn on debugging mode, which means you will have to enable the developer mode on your phone which isn't too difficult to do. So you can see Dr. Phone is now open and you can see we've got a bunch of tools here, but we're concentrating on the transfer uh, tool in this case. So hit the transfer uh, button and this will then start to download the transfer software onto your system. And you can see there's a bunch of other tools here which we'll cover in other videos at a later date. Uh, but what we're going to do here is just let this install now this will take a bit of time so be patient and let it download off their server i shall quickly speed this process up now we can go to the transfer button and click on it again and this will open up the transfer program so just let that uh, finish off its installation process it will populate at the back you see it there populate behind this program here we can now drop this one down uh, to our taskbar we don't need this anymore so now you can see it's trying to connect and it says that there's an issue and we need to uh, enable USB debugging now it doesn't matter what make or model your phone is you will need to enable this feature and it is inside the about phone in settings then you need to go to the version of your phone tap that seven times and then you go to additional settings and then developer options this will open up the developer options. If you don't do that, it won't give you developer options. Uh, so you need to follow it to that point. And then once you go into a developer options, you will see USB uh, debugging. Enable that and uh, go ahead and continue. And you should then see uh, the uh, transfer mode connecting to uh, your phone to your computer. Now, once you've finished this task, you can turn off um, USB debugging if you wish. Uh, if you have no use to use it again, you can turn it off and that will be okay. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and do that and I'll sure we'll come back when that's done. Now if you get use USB to connect your device and you've got that all plugged in and you're still getting this um, uh, not detected sign, then you need to make sure that your phone is being detected in Device Manager. Just make sure there's no issues there and install the software for your phone on your computer and it should connect and you should have no problems because it then becomes a, a driver issue, okay? But once you've got your driver installed, it will connect and you should be able to then uh, transfer data to uh, your PC from your phone. Now, if we take a look at the top left, you can see now the Ga Galaxy S9 Plus is connected. And when we click on the music, videos, photos, you should now see your content on your phone. Now, depending on what type of content you want to transfer, you can just select it as it is, uh, like so. And uh, once you've got those selected, you can go up to the top here and you'll see a bunch of uh, buttons here, add, 
export, delete, and also refresh. Also duplicate and ringtone maker. So what we're gonna do is go back here to the export button and we're gonna export this to our PC. Now you can also export them to your iTunes if you want to, but I'm just gonna create a folder on another drive and export this data to that drive. So I'm gonna create a folder called transfer. You can call it wherever you like. I'm just gonna call it transfer and click OK and the files will start to copy across. Now you will need to purchase this uh, software. It's not a free piece of software, um, but as you can see here, I've now got these selected and they will start to export to that folder on my PC. Once this is completed, it will allow me to look at those um, MP3 files. You can open the folder. Now you can transfer anything across music, uh, videos, documents, applications, contacts, any of that stuff from your phone to a folder of your choice. You can see videos here. It will load these up and then you can export these across as well. Apps, again, you can export all your apps across if you want to. Information, contacts and photos and stuff like that. You can explore your phone from here as well. A really powerful piece of software for transferring all your data from your phone to your PC. And I uh, hope this one's been helpful to you. This one is uh, a Wondershare Doctor Phone. I'll leave all the information in the video description if you're interested. Uh, there will be some discounts on there as well. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.